These won't be full reviews of the controllers itself. They're gonna be a quick overview and just why they're on the list. I will be linking every full video under in the description below, as well as every controller link affiliate below. Those do help me out and it pays me a few cents to be able to do free content each and every week. Let's get started with the five controllers. First controller we are gonna look at is gonna be the Game Sir G7. If you've seen any of my videos recently, you know this controller is gonna be on here for the number one fact that this controller has Hall Effect joysticks. If you've been living on our a rock and you don't know what Hall Effect <laughs> Hall Effects joysticks are, well, then you're about to learn. These means they will never develop stick drift, supposedly. Like, there are controllers that will develop stick drift, but that's not because of the sensors, it's because of the hardware that's in the sensors, like the springs and stuff like that. Things can go bad around the sensors itself to cause, to cause stick drift, but these controllers don't. They have the, you know, the anti-friction rings around them that are nice. It comes with like a, you know, a replaceable plate where you can put a black one on here that they sell separately, or you can buy the G7, may or may not be talking about here in a second and interchange those face plates but also on the back of the controller it has trigger uh, not trigger stops they have two back buttons on the back of the controller and they have back button trigger stops or back button locks i should say don't have trigger stops i just kind of be honest this is probably my one flaw on this controller they should just move these up and make trigger stops but they didn't but they're here for you anyway so if you want to not have buttons on you can do that or you can set the controller up for the buttons not to do nothing on the back maybe you know you want to do it that way you have an app that you can turn on dead zone on your triggers themselves so you can get uh tr hair triggers and stuff like that pull the sensitivity all the way down and it's supposed to be coming out with a thousand hurt i did talk to them a couple weeks ago they said within two months hopefully that it's about to drop soon so we can have that uh, which means you'll get one second of uh you know like inter or not interference but the latency between you and the console itself and this is a good thing because majority of xbox controllers any other xbox controller on the market is four seconds so you're gonna get a three second better head start in fps games and stuff like that so that yeah, this is why i picked this controller down the list because well i mean this is just an fps beast overall you do have a 3.5 millimeter jack here and the mute button there if you want to see the full review go down in the description below now i talked about g7 se of course you could not talk about the g7 itself the original g7 it's not a g6 by the way it's a g7 and this controller well it doesn't have the button stopper turn off or things in the back right here but what it does have is the tactile buttons yes they got tactile buttons and these and these buttons are nice they're good i mean the as soon as you touch them and i mean these are really really good in my personal opinion they're not wiggly and loose like the t4 for the uh, switch and pc they're they're nice and tight and they just feel good all the way around the triggers are the, the joysticks themselves they're not going to be the hall effects that's something they didn't put on this controller because they give you the tactile buttons and of course these controllers every controller on here except for one is wired by the way just gotta throw that out there before someone asks below but it has the same thing with the uh face plates it's got the same app i believe personally i'm going to think that this controller will be able to be overclocked to a thousand two because this controller and the se share the same app on the pc so i don't see why they wouldn't do that when it comes to the overclocking as well and uh you have the d-pad here d-pad actually feels pretty good in my opinion this controller is on here because well the price and the tactile button so people that like to play like fighter games and stuff like that me personally i like tactile buttons so that's why this controller is on here if you're going to tell me in the comments that you'd rather have a membrane for your buttons then so be it you don't even need to tell me just move on actually tell me because it helps the algorithm and while you're down there like the video because it also helps their algorithm algorithm am i saying that right anyways yeah 45 bucks good controller let's move on I have a couple of honorary mentions in this video, of course, and the first one is going to be the 8-Bit Do Pro 2 controller. This is an older controller, but it's on here because, well, it's a wired Xbox controller. And when I say it's wired, I mean it's wired. The wire doesn't come off. That's gonna be my flaw for this controller itself. And this controller is set up like a PlayStation. This, the joysticks are not offset. They are normal default, whatever you call them, PlayStation users. I don't know, I don't play PlayStation. This controller is on here, well, because it's, 
It's just a good overall controller and it's something different. The buttons themselves feel pretty good. They are raised a little higher than most in my personal opinion, but they don't feel bad pressing. They don't have a very long you know, travel distance before you're actuated. And it has all kinds of functions on here and you have apps and stuff where you can literally set this up however you want. You can have, you can switch buttons around, make the Y, the X, the X, the Y and stuff like that. There's a lot you can do with this app and this controller. For people that want a controller like this, this is gonna be your best bet, in my personal opinion. And plus the price is really good on this controller. The D-pad, 8-Bit Do makes the best D-pad in the market, in my personal opinion. Let me know if there's a D-pad you think that's better in the comments below because I like to check it out and see because honestly, I have never seen a D-pad better than 8-Bit Do. It's a great controller and it's on the list. Let's talk about the other honor Mary mentioned. There's gonna be another 8-Bit Do controller and the reason why is well because of the price. This controller is like less than $40, I believe, and it does quite literally pretty much everything. It's got onboard profiles. It has two back buttons on it as well, just as the other one did as well. The triggers and everything feel really good. The bumpers are nice and big, they're bulky. Uh, I don't have a problem with that, but the overall feel feels great in my hand. And you just got so much control with the app itself too, where you can just literally set this thing up how you want it to be a controller for your use and stuff like that. So definitely check this one out as well. I'm gonna link again everything in the video below, but you have all kind of functionality with this. And the D-pad on this one feels just as good as the other D-pads. It feels way better in my personal personal opinion than the Pro 2 I just had in my hand even. So D-pad back to 100%. Joysticks are gonna be the apps joysticks just like the other controllers. The only Hall Effect sensors you're gonna hear on this controller was, or on controllers period, the first con uh, controller I showed you guys, everything else is gonna be Hall Effects because that's, Xbox haven't put nothing else out yet that has Hall Effects sensors in it. Moving on. Next controller on the list is gonna be the Power A Advantage controller. This controller actually just came out and I'm gonna be 100%. I only put this controller in here to give you guys and gals options. When it comes to controllers, this is probably my least favorite controller on the list just because of what you get with it for the price. But with that being said, it does have the RGBs on it that I know a lot of you guys and gals love. I'm one of them. I absolutely love RGB lights on my controller and you can literally customize this thing. There's four different profile modes on here. Well, I mean profiles and sections you can customize to do your thing. You can make them go cycle through all the colors, have different colors on it and stuff like that. It's pretty cool when it comes to that. If you buy the kit that comes with, it comes with a four foot RGB strip that you can put around your TV, under your desk, something like that. And you'll have even more RGBs if you're into that and you know, you're good to go. Or there's one that's like 20 feet long almost, I think it's like 18 feet or something like that you can buy as well to control with the controller. And you literally can control the lights with the controller while it's plugged in. But I did wanna show you this controller. It has two back buttons on the back of it. This controller does have trigger stops on the back. So you have on, off, and in the middle as well. Not a big fan of them personally myself when it comes to in the middle, I think it's just be on and off, but go, you know, take it for what it's worth, you have more options there. And then you can just control this controller on the fly with the RGBs, you can set the buttons up without the app. It does have an app with it. I'm not a big fan of the app when it comes to it itself, but for, you know, for the price, you're gonna get a pretty good controller. If you ever play with the Spectrum Infinity controller, it's literally the same controller with a few updates with the USB-C, the extra rumble motors underneath the triggers themselves. And it takes took a couple things away of it as well, the volume control and stuff like that. Now I'm throwing this controller in there because, well, I'm throwing this controller in there and I'll tell you why. It's gonna be the ultimate Elite Series, excuse me, the Elite Series 2. Now this was technically the core controller when I bought it, and I bought this controller for under 100 bucks. You can find these on sale all the time. If they're all on sale, I'm gonna post it down below, and I'm gonna post what I bought with it because I actually bought the paddles and the charging station for like another 15 bucks. So I got pretty much the Elite Series 2 controller for a hundred and like, right at $15, it was like right under like $114 or something like that with everything. And that's a really good deal, especially for the new ones. I know there was a lot of issues like, 
uh, you know, how fast it broke down, how fast it wore out and stuff. But this controller, they've done better. They've gotten better and they've extended the warranty a little bit more now. And I just think that the controller is a decent controller. And I actually like the red ones. I mean, you can customize these controllers. You can get the blue one, the white one, or the red one. And you can go online and customize one as well. But you do get the joysticks uh, tensioners in here that you can turn on and off. You can actually have three modes with them. I always set this one a little bit tighter for FPS games and just leave this loosey-goosey. That doesn't matter. You do get the trigger stops on the back itself. And these are actually um, like computer ones, um, you know, the ones where there's zero dead zone. So if you turn them on, you still get 100% pull. So if you're in like a Call of Duty or something like that, you're going to still drive just as fast with them on as if they were off not like like the power a controller or some of the other controllers we might look at i do have the base that comes with that's uh, magnetic and stuff and you do get this d-pad with the without the kit i actually prefer this d-pad the d-pad feels amazing and the onboard app you have on the console itself i mean you just go to your config and your buttons and stuff and you can literally set this entire thing up the way you want it you can change the color of this even as you can see here i got mine as blue and you can cycle through and you know have them on whatever you want for profile wise and have them on which is pretty cool so you can set it up you got three onboard profiles and stuff the controller does feel premium to me it's nice and heavy i mean this is a wireless controller this is the only wireless controller that we're going to be talking about today so for 115 bucks or you know if you just want the controller itself i personally i would at least get the back buttons you can control you can charge your controller through the USB-C up top i think it's a pretty good deal i think you can't go wrong with it and um you know is it the best fps game shooting game uh, controller out there absolutely not because you're only gonna get 125 hertz pooling rate out of this controller versus like a wire controller that normally is about 250 which is four milliseconds versus the eight milliseconds on this but if you're just wanting to sit back relax maybe do a little bit of streaming and not be a hardcore sweater this controller is going to be the best controller because you don't have to worry about wires and everything. Now, let's talk about my daily driver I've been di driving for over a year. I absolutely love this controller, and it's going to be the Razer V2 Chroma controller. This is what we call a competitor controller, in my personal opinion. The one thing that a lot of people don't like that I've gotten used to because I have bigger hands, as you can see here, is the way the buttons are on the back. These are buttons. A lot of these are like, you know, they're not paddles, they're not buttons up here or anything like that. These are buttons like in the middle of the controller. So when I'm playing, I literally hold, I hold my controller like this, but it doesn't bother me holding my controller like this. And I get not one, through four, but I get six extra buttons with this controller, which means I have six opportunities not to take my thumb off this joystick and off this joystick and keep my fingers and, and everything right here. I literally, could, I don't have to even worry about pressing these buttons over here with this controller. But if you are gonna press these buttons, guess what? They're tactile. They are tactile buttons and they feel amazing when you press them. I mean, the, the actuation of it when you're pressing it is pretty much instantane instantaneously instantaneously insta instantaneously what bro what are you talking about man automatic when you press them in man i can't talk today for some reason but you're good to go the d-pad is tactile what yeah and the d-pad feels amazing great roll-offs i mean this controller is great all the way around it does have rgbs here i'll be 100 though if you're holding a controller like this you're not going to see those rgbs you know what i mean so kind of useless they could have put the money somewhere else and did something else with them but you do have trigger stops here as well which makes this controller awesome and too so not only are you getting six buttons you're getting trigger stops you're getting tactile buttons you're also getting replaceable thumbsticks you get different thumbsticks with the controller itself and it's nice to see I I think you do not get a carrying case with this and you do get extra sticks and stuff so you can lose those sticks because you don't have an extra carrying case but in any case i no point attended this controller i've found a lot of times on sale for around 100 dollars. it used to be when it first came out like 150 160 dollar controller and it was worth it it's definitely worth the hundred dollars now so if you can find this controller i'm gonna post the best deal below if you see it down there and if it's a hundred bucks i definitely would just go ahead and snatch it up because it really is a great controller it does have an app on the xbox you don't have to worry about a pc 
You can download it to your Xbox and control this controller through your Xbox, set up different profiles. You do get different profiles. I think it's three to four. You can set up different profiles to do what you want. So if you have different games and stuff like that and you want to have different button layouts for everything, I know I do, then you're good to go there. There you guys have it, your five controller list. If you like the video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and bye.